Welcome back. This is Emily here. This is uh, LiDAR Basics Part 4, doing macros and classifying in TerraScan with larger data sets. So here we are back in our microstation window. We had just finished doing making a project, so you see we have our open project here with the open block. And what we're going to be doing today is creating what's called a macro. So it's going to be able to, we're going to go into tools in our LiDAR, our TerraScan bar, go tools, macro. And we're going to see the macro window come up. So this is a new window. If you already have a macro, you can go open oh, file, open, and navigate to your old macro. So here I have one saved. And basically what this macro is, is instructions on how to classify and how to run specific outputs on the LiDAR point. So here you see I've classified by class, echo, isolated points, stuff we're going to go through. And it individually runs this macro, the same routine, on each one of those blocks. So I'm going to close out of this old one. So we're going to write our description up here uh, and our name. So I'm calling it tutorial and my own name. Um, and we're going to add a function. So when we add a function, we're going to click add. You'll see action and routine. So there's lots of different actions. So you can classify points, delete points, etc. Um, this is the action that you will do to the points. And then you also have, so we're just going to classify points here, but we also have the routine. So this is, we'll classify points by class or routine, uh, classify points by echo. So if you wanted to delete points. But we're just going to classify points by class. So here we've got the window come up. We're going to classify all of our points, every single one of them, into a default class. So we're going from class any to default. And so our next step, uh, there's lots of different things we can classify by. So um, we're going to go through a couple examples. So I'm going to show you what it would be like to classify by echo. So by echo, okay. We'll go with any class, although they're only in class one. Um, and we're going to go from echo, last of many. So that would be most likely the last echo could either be ground or treetops. This isn't really a specific example for any particular area. I'm just showing you options of what you can do. There's so many variations on this. If you made a mistake, you can just highlight it, press delete, which I just did. So next we're going to go into add. We're going to classify points by class, isolated points. Press OK. We're going to go into any class. We're going to move it to 31 or really any just random class. Um, and then we're going to keep the rest of the defaults here. And press OK. So classifying isolated points removes points that are individual, something like a bird or a low point that shouldn't be there. Um, that really just gets rid of that and it moves it into a, basically a junk class. So we can see it's got this coding here. Um, yeah, so we're going to press add again, and we're going to go into action, and we're going to delete by class. So this will allow us to delete any class that we want. So we're going to delete those isolated points, which were in class 31, and it's going to press OK. So that'll remove any of the isolated points that we just moved into that class from our default class. So now we can classify our ground points. So we're going to go into classify by ground routine. And we're actually going to keep almost all the defaults. I'm just going to move it from class one because that's where all of our points are. And then the rest of it 
is just going to be this same default. So press OK. It'll add that in. So you don't have to follow any of these specific. I'm just showing you a general process. But next we're going to add, we're going to go into action and we're going to smoothen out points. This will smoothen out our ground points. Uh, if I can find it down here. So smoothen points. Um, we're just going to do it uh, by ground. We're going to smoothen the elevation. So this is actually going to stick with our defaults here. Um, yeah, so I'm going to press OK. And actually, I decided that I wanted to change up this uh, ground. So I'm going to click on the, I'm going to highlight it and press Edit. And I'm going to do the max fix down at 0 0.5 meters. So that's like 5 centimeters. Uh, and just, you can edit these as you want. That's what those buttons are for. But we're going to go into Add. We're going to classify our points by height from ground. So we're going to do our vegetation classification next. Press OK. So our ground class is ground. We're going to leave the max triangle as it is. And we're going to go from default class and we're going to move our classified points into high vegetation. So I want, you can define your minimum height. I'm just going to keep it at two here. And we're going to press OK. So. I'm just going to add in another vegetation class here. So I'm going to go again to by height from ground. We're going to press OK here. And here we can edit our minimum height to whatever we want. So if I want it 0 0.25 meters to 40 meters, for example. Um, yeah, so we see that's added in there. So now that we've got those done, we're only going to stick with classifying right now in terms of functions. You can do a lot more with this, but we're just going to output our classified class. So we're going to go into action, output points, and we're going to take the points from our ground class first. You're going to go into browse and navigate to where you want it. Um, and to get the right file name, you can put in hashtag b number. There's a couple different options you can find out what exactly to write in the TerraScan help manual. We're going to call it hashtag b number underscore ground. And that's going to name each one of our ground tiles the same name. As, so it'll be the tile number and the ground prefix. So we're going to do that with our vegetation as well. So again, to action output points. And if you press this little arrow button, you can go into here and we're going to go to medium vegetation, high vegetation, and we're going to output those as the same thing. We're going to go into browse, again, hashtag B number veg. And we're going to do one last one once we've pressed OK, and we're just going to output both the ground and the veg. So I'll just do that here quickly. Now that I've got my macro all ready, I'm going to go on to run. And this is going to allow us to run it on our tiles. So we're going to go into add here. And this is where you can go through and select your project tiles. So mine are in this folder. That's all 16 of the project tiles we made from the last video. I'm going to press open. And so our input is, we're going to keep the defaults here. The only thing I really care about here is if I've saved it as the right type. So LAZ 1.3. Press OK. And this is going to start running through. So it'll process through each one of the files. This will take a long time depending on the tile size. One of my projects has over 2,000 tiles in it. So it took like almost two days to run. So sometime later, we've got this macro window that shows up, and it'll show you what was done on each individual block or tile that you have created. So it's gone through that macro for each tile. Um, so one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to save my macro so that if I want to use this same macro on another project, I can do so. So I'm going to save it in a location that I understand. I'm going to go 
TS tutorial or macro. Um, just name it something informative so you can find it again. Yeah, so now if we open our block, we can see well, open block. You can click on a block and we're going to see our classified tiles now. So you go into profile view and take a little slice out of it, put in view two. And see we've got our green is our vegetation and we have our ground class in orange. You could show the statistics. So I still have my default one in here, but that's just because they were previously loaded. Um, but now you've only got the three other classified ones. So again, another block. Here's a smaller slice of a profile. All classified. So if you want to view your files, so this is where we output all of those macro classified tiles. So you see there's all 16 of them have the veg, the all, and the ground level. So we can go into file read points and pull out an individual class. You could also do more than one uh, block at a time or tile at a time. That's how you can open more than one block. So here's just my ground points in that separate classified file, all in orange. And we can also open up our vegetation points by going into read points, kind of frozen here. <laughs> and we're going to open up our veg as well. And press OK. And here we go, we're populating our tile with some vegetation. I really just want to emphasize that this specific macro isn't the be all end all way. There's lots of different ways you could do this. Um, this is just one example of how to do it. You can try it on your own as well. This really comes in handy for those large data sets.